Hello everybody. So I'm here to do a book review on Outsider by Claire Delise. Now in case you don't know, Claire Delise is actually a makeup guru here on YouTube. I've been watching her for a while now and she is so multi-talented. She's a great artist, a great writer, a great makeup artist, a great musician, everything. And I am so glad I picked up this book. And I'm going to try my best to not give away any spoilers in this review for you because I really feel like this book is a journey that you need to take on your own. But I'm telling you this story is well worth that journey. So basically we follow the main character Astrid whose parents are killed in front of her and she is taken in by a warlock, a sorcerer, a wizard named Dag and we also follow a dwarf Gerald, I believe is how you pronounce his name, who is on his way to ask a queen for military help to protect his homeland from goblin attacks and they meet along the way. Now the story does flip back and forth between the past which is Astrid growing up and then the present which is Jarell on his way to the kingdom and Astrid and Jarell's paths collide and it goes from there. Uh, that's like the easiest way for me to explain the story without spoiling it for you. I know that's very vague but I really don't want to spoil the story for you because it's it's just so good. You gotta read it. Uh, some other characters that we follow along the way, we have Raji, who is my favorite character in this whole story. He is a goblin who was best friends with Dag, the man who raises Astrid. And the relationship between Dag and Raji is so funny. Um, because Dag is actually like the most horrible cook in the entire world and Raji is an excellent cook and that's kind of where Astrid and Raji's relationship starts is the fact that he gives her edible food and Raji and Astrid's relationship is so good uh, he's kind of like a father figure to Astrid and I think that he's so funny and he definitely is my favorite character in the entire story. Dag's more like uptight and he just wants to protect Astrid from everything where she wants to kind of be her own woman and go out in the world and Raji supports that so that's kind of the battle's between Raji and Dag. Uh, with Gerald, we have Canood, who is his best friend's son. We have uh, Halvard, I believe is his name, who is a friend of Gerald. We have Scad, who Dag actually brings to train Astrid to fight. I'm not going to tell you why. You're going to have to read the book, but Scad uh, is there as well. And it's kind of, we follow mainly those characters throughout the entire story. Now, Scad is just the meanest person I've ever met, and I don't like him at all. But I don't like someone even more than Scad, and that is Halvard. Uh, when these people are on the way to the kingdom to ask for military help, you get to see Halvard start to kind of lose it. Uh, you get to see his true colors in this life and death situation, and I don't like him at all. He is, excuse my language, but a dick. An asshole. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Not at all. So judgmental. Do not like him. Do not recommend. Nope. Uh, Canood is so cute. Very, very cute. Uh, the relationship between Canood and Gerald, I think, is really sweet as well. Uh, what are some other things I can tell you without ruining the story for you? Uh, there is a romance in this book, but it's not in your face, and it's not ooey gooey, and it's not the main point of the story, which I really, really enjoyed. Because I feel like in any YA story, there's always a love triangle, for one, and it seems like it, it almost takes over what the story is supposed to be about, because you're so concerned on who she's going to pick and why she likes this guy. And that did not happen in Claire's story. It was just kind of like a side thing. It just gradually happened, which is another thing I liked. It wasn't an instant love. It wasn't like uh, the person saw the other person and was like, oh my god, that's the one. It was not like that at all. The only thing I guess I really have to say that wasn't good about the story was the fact of how she ended it. On a complete cliffhanger. I was so mad. I read 385 pages to be left with that ending. Now, granted, there is a sequel out right now for this book, because I believe this is going to be either a trilogy or, or a series. I'm not sure exactly. Um, I will leave Claire's channel down below in the description so that you can go check it out um, to get more information on this. But she really, she did. She left me feeling so empty. Like, there was no conclusion. I was like, why? Why? 
Did it have to end that way? I just went through this emotional journey, and you just leave me here with nothing. Nothing at all. It was so bad. Uh, also, there is a part in this book that did make me cry. Um, I won't tell you what, obviously. I don't want to ruin the story. But there is a part that I literally was bawling. And I was so mad at her for what she did to this character. I'm so mad. Can't get over it. Uh, it just... Uh, this book was so amazing. The world building, even though like there were some like familiar aspects because I've read a lot of fantasy here and there. I've read a lot of fantasy here and there. Did that even make sense? I have read some fantasy and there were some aspects that were familiar, but she was able to build an entire new world. I thought all the characters were well built. I never felt like one character was like more rounded than the other. They all the relationships between all of them I thought was really solid. I really just thoroughly enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 on my Goodreads. It really is one of my favorite books now. I think it took me about 24 hours to read this. Like, it was so good. I tried to go to bed, and I couldn't. I needed to know what was going to happen with these characters. And I definitely am very excited to pick up the second one. I just have to, you know, get on it. Uh, but definitely, if you are a fan of fantasy of action this is a great story for you and I do feel like it's different from the other like dystopian YA fantasy books I've read which I really liked that and as kind of a side note um Claire Delise is actually dyslexic and I admire her so much for e even attempting to write a book that takes a lot of courage I think and I'm just so excited and so happy that I picked up this book. Thank you, Claire, for this amazing story. I can't wait to read your second book. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I will be back with another book review soon, I am sure. And I love you guys, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.